end of the road. Finally, my 2007 Acura TSX has sold. Today, earlier, the first person that came to see it in person liked it and he wants to buy it. I did not give it to him because I didn't have the title with me. So we're going to meet tomorrow and I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to sign it off and transfer ownership to him. I'm pretty happy overall with the transaction because I thought I was going to get a little bit more for the car. Um, and I was kind of disappointed in the market that I did not get the original $6,000 that I was asking for it. Uh, but at the same time, I acknowledge that you know, I have put more miles in this car. This was not a base. This was not a piece of furniture that just depreciated while sitting in my house. This was my means of transportation for two years. I took it on many, many trips uh, throughout California, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and it never let me down. It's, it's been an amazing experience. And I just hope that the new owner gets to experience just as good moments as I did with the car because, you know, a car with this many miles, anything can happen. Just like when I bought it, and that was my first impression at 217,000 miles that at any point, this car would just take a dump on me. And I'm glad it didn't, but now that I'm gonna pass it on to the new, to the next owner at 245,000 miles, I feel that it is the same. It is a nice car that has a lot of miles. People have documented these cars to have 300,000 miles. It, it, there's even a blog, somebody claims that they have 700,000 miles on the original unopened engine. I just sure hope that that's the case for the new owner because when you sell a car, you hope that the next owner has as good of an experience as you did, it, particularly in my case. This is a person that is buying the car for his 21 year old son. I mean, the, the son is buying it for himself, but it's the dad that came to check it out and um, he was pleased with the car. I mean, the car is everything you see in the videos and more because in person it, it looks pretty good other than the paint of course remember that i still have the 2024 genesis gv70 which is mostly driven by my wife and by me when i go on those long trips and i also have that other 1989 bmw e30 but i still want to get other cars from like the the late 90s into the 2000s um something just as clean just just a different car when I get home, I also want to do a full breakdown of how much it cost me to drive this car for the last two years. And of course, my future plans car-wise. Let's go over the stats. In total, I had this vehicle for 23 months in which I put 28,000 miles and I made calculations that I invested over $5,000 in it. And I don't think I need to cover those expenses in detail. Just know that most of the money that I spent on it went to stuff that I wanted to upgrade and not necessarily on crucial repairs. The TSX never let me strand it. And in that sense, it presented itself as a very reliable car that took me everywhere, just like a new car would. So whatever I spent on it, I got it back in usability, dependability, and of course, in pride of ownership. And earlier in this video, I said that I originally had posted it for $6,000 because that's how strong I felt about the value of this car despite the high miles but i guess the market disagreed and i posted it for sale on auto trader and offer up and to be honest with you i did not get a single hit on auto trader when i should post it for six thousand dollars i did get a couple of offers from offer up both of them for less than fifteen hundred dollars so obviously i was not going to take this seriously and after a week i gave in and i dropped the price to five thousand dollars merely because i felt that there's a lot of people that will be looking for a car under five thousand dollars and when i did i actually got some serious offers out on offer up auto trader did not give me any offers the highest uh, bid that i had on offer up was thirty five hundred dollars but again i always thought that the tsx was worth a lot more and i wasn't desperate for money so i was going to wait and that's when the right buyer came and offered me forty five hundred dollars and i agreed i figured that it was a fair price since I wanted to get rid of the vehicle. I mean, I hate selling cars, so I just wanted to get that process over with. And the person that bought it was in desperate need of a vehicle for his son. So, I mean, we agreed on the same day. Uh, he came to see it and of course he loved it. And that same Friday, I got a serious offer for the full $5,000 from somebody else, but my word was already committed to the first buyer. And some of you may think that I was dumb with spending $10,000 on a car that, that I turned around and sold for less than half, but I see it differently. In my vision, I bought a car that I drove for 28,000 miles for less than $6,000. And in my personal context, my prior vehicle being a Tesla Model Y 
had a cost of ownership of $24,000 in the first, uh, what was it, 21 months that I had it. And I put 26,000 miles on that vehicle. So as you can see, it was similar usage, right? So the cost per mile on my TSX was 22 cents per mile, while our Tesla Model Y had a cost per mile of 92 cents or over four times more than the TSX. And before you argue that I'm not comparing similar vehicles, they are because I pay for them from the same pocket and I use them the same way I did the Model, uh, the Model Y, I used the TSX. And the TSX provided me with the same qualities of transportation of a new car with similar reliability, and it never left me stranded or anything like that. It also gave me more than decent gas mileage, especially on the highway where it was no stranger to giving me over 30 miles per gallon. And I also made a little bit of money from your views of the videos that I created for the car, which is minimal, but it all comes to the same point. If you're enjoying LTO video, please consider subscribing for more related content. Let's continue. So that covers the financial aspect of my 2007 Acura TSX ownership. As far as anything else, it was a great experience driving it around and learning to trust its capabilities. I never had a second thought about taking it long trips as I knew that it would take me everywhere. And let me make it clear, it's not like I got rid of the vehicle because I thought it was a time bomb that was just gonna break down on me at any moment because of the high miles. This engine is very, very reliable. It's one of the best motors ever made. And the highest documented mileage I found on YouTube was a first generation TSX with over 600,000 miles. The YouTube channel is called Climber's Carport and he allowed me to show you a short clip of his video where he shows his first generation reaching the milestone of 600,000 miles. And he claims it's an unopened engine and transmission, which I thought it was amazing. And then in Mississippi, it finally happened. Bam! All right, 600,000 miles. Just rolled it on Interstate I-20, about 20, 30 miles west of Jackson, Mississippi. So at that, mine had plenty of life left. What is next for me car-wise? I already bought another car and I'm just waiting for the process to finalize on auto trade to go pick it up. It is also an import, it is also vintage, but I'll give you more details about that car in the upcoming video. So whoever was following me because of my TSX, sad to announce it's gone, but, uh, you can stay tuned for the next um, car experience because I think if you like the TSX, you're definitely gonna like whatever I'm gonna start driving pretty soon. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more car related content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.